Well, I received another 1902 monitor today. It was an eBay purchase. Uh, it's listed as working. <clears throat> uh, I, when I got it, it, it doesn't work. It, I get a power light, no high voltage. It's very funky. Can't tell what's going on there. Somebody painted this, or if it's just worn. I don't know. It's really dirty. The door hinges are intact, so I'll try to save it. See if I can repair it. Uh, discovered something worse than foam peanuts today. That's this. On the plus side, you can vacuum it up. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull it apart. And see if maybe it's just a bad solder joint at the uh, flyback transformer. Okay, as so the usual. Um, I just pulled the cover off. I haven't really even looked in here yet, so we'll just look for any sort of... Uh, anything just obviously blown up. Burned up resistors. Any scorching and anything. I don't, I don't really see anything. It's a little dirty, but everything looks. Everything looks okay. Like I said, I just we just don't have high voltage, so we'll just check around the flyback transformer like we did in my previous video. I'll just put this sh shirt down to so I don't scratch up the face of the monitor on the workbench. It doesn't look like anyone's been in here. These are pretty cleanly folded over. I don't see any flux. Around here, not many rusty fingerprints, a couple, but so that's good. These monitors will actually balance sort of on this edge right here, so you can just kind of tilt it up and it'll stay there on its own. Kind of handy.
Now we need to get this main board out. So we need to make sure that everything is disconnected. So we need to unplug that. Get it out of these, these clips. It's just the LED. Um, I think that's everything. Let's see. Let's see. We have one more on the neck board. Just disconnect that. Got hang. Okay. So I just have the neck board, <coughs> the main board. I should just slide right out. always takes a little while with these monitors they just really really pile up that solder for the shielding so we need to get all that solder off so that we can pop the shield this one actually has more solder than the last one solder here 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 all around this side and then even on the back side Finally, all right. Well, I'm hoping we get lucky. Here's the flyback transformer, and we'll look around in here. Hopefully, find something obvious. And we found it already. Two seconds in, minus the hour of removing the shield. Look what we have here. Ooh. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. See that ring? Not as bad as this ring, but that's a problem. So we have one, is that it? Focus, one, we'll just do both of those. That one, okay. I've resoldered those pins and we'll just clean it up. All of this flux from the shield nastiness. Yuck. Okay, let's put the board back in and see if it works.
Okay, I'll just put all this back together and get the power supply board back in and we'll see what happens. And then if it works, we'll take it all back out and put the shield back on. Dead spider. And connect the power supply. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, nope, missed one. Let's see, it goes here. somewhere it goes way down in here there we go okay here we go mm. all right maybe just some adjustments Well, that actually looks pretty good. Not bad. All right, well, I guess I'll put the shielding back on. Okay, shield's back on. Put it back together. <laughs> 